Society is about the use of resources such as dictionary to find the meaning of words. So let us see what is it all about. Okay, so let us have a drill first. Can you see the screen, kids? Give me a thumbs up if you can see the screen. Can you see the screen? Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, very good. You can see the screen. Okay, now. Okay, so what can you see in the screen? Can you... Uh, type it on our chat box here in the Google Meet. What can you see in the screen? Okay, so there are some words on the screen. <laughs> and let us see what it's all about. Okay, there are words. I can see words from Nerf, uh, Ron June and then Nerfy said, Meet. Ayan. May mga late tayong dumadating. Now, <clears throat> use the letter of the correct meaning of words using this dictionary. So, at what you can see, that was a page from a dictionary. Okay. Now, get your paper first. Get a paper and a pen. And then you're going to write the letter of the correct answer. Number your paper 1 to 10. So, I want you to be honest with your answer. Later, we're going to check it. Okay. So, number 1. It means a pleasing arrangement of sound. It means a pleasing arrangement of sound. Write your answer on your paper. A. Meet. B. Melody. C. Mealy. Or D. Mega. Again, it means a pleasing arrangement of sound. A. Meet. B, melody, C, mili, B, mega. Let's go with number two. Two, what does mili mean? A, to come upon face to face. B, very large. C, rough and often noisy fight. D, a poem suitable for singing. Again, what does mili mean? A, to come upon face to face. B, very large. C, rough and often noisy fight. Or D, a poem suitable for singing. Okay, number three. During intramurals, students from different schools are having inter-school blank to complete. During intramural, students from different schools are having inter-school blank to compete. A, meet. B, mega. C, mili. D, melody. Okay, number four. What is the antonym for mega? What is the antonym for mega? A, enormous. B, jumbo. C, Midget, D, Grand. Number five. All are synonyms of the word melody except all are synonyms of the word melody except A, Harmony, B, Discord, C, Tune, D, Lay. Okay, number six. Which pair of words are antonyms? Which pair of words are antonyms? A, harmony, tune, B, brawl, ruckus, C, avoid, catch, D, massive, jumbo. Number seven. When your friend says, let us meet. She means A, let us avoid, B, let us escape, C, let us evade, D, e, let us catch up.
Number eight. Reuse blank if you want to know the synonyms and antonyms of a word. Meet mo na mga kids. Okay, thank you. You use blank if you want to know the synonyms and antonyms of a word. A. Dictionary. B. Thesaurus. C. Atlas. B. Index. Okay, number nine. What are you going to use? If you wanted to know the meaning of a word, you do not understand. What are you going to use if you wanted to know the meaning of a word you do not understand? A. Dictionary. B. Thesaurus. C. Atlas. B. Index. Last number. Number 10. Which of the following is a sample of online resources? Which of the following is a sample of online resources? A. Dictionary. B. Thesaurus. C. www.miriamwebster.com Letter D. Glossary. Okay. So we're going to check your answer. So let me see. Let's be sure that all of us are honest in checking our own paper. Because this is just a drill, okay? So check your own paper. 1B, 2C, 3A, 4C, 5B, 6C, 7B, 8B, 9A, and number 10C. Again, 1B, 2C, 3A, 4C. 5B, 6C, 7B, 8B, 9A, and 10C. Okay. Uh, who got 10? Can you please raise your hand? Let me see. Who got 10? Anybody? 10? How about 9? Raise your hand. 9. It's okay. 8. Okay. Very good. The army. 7. Very good. Six. Five. Very good. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. It's okay. Okay. So, if you are using, I don't, excuse me, pag hindi po siguro maka, makita po yung screen, we can reconnect po. Try po natin minsan po nagkaka-glitch po. Reconnect lang po tayo. Join lang po tayo ulit. Okay. So, let's go back with our lesson. Okay. So, let us have a review first. Okay. Let's have a review. Identify the parts of a simple paragraph. I think you already learned about this when you were still in your grade 3. Choose the letter of your answer inside the box. So, what are you going to do, kids? If you know the answer, type in our Google Meet chat. And she's the one or he's the one I'm going to call. And you're going to unmute to answer me. Okay? Is that clear? Again, I'm going to read first the question and the letters. When I, said, when I say go, you are going to type me if you want to answer. And when I call your name, you are going to un unmute, okay, to answer me. Okay, let us see. Number one, it states the main idea of the paragraph. A, topic sentence. B, supporting details. C, conclusion. Wow, Mary Clean Salvador. Can you tell me your answer? What's your answer? Unmute. Mary Clean? What's your answer? I... A. Okay, let us see if it is letter A. The answer is A, topic sentence. Very good. Wow, the others also answering. Okay, number two. 
What part of the simple paragraph tells the main idea? A. Topic sentence. B. Supporting details. C. Conclusion. Go! Altea Luis, unmute. What's your answer? Altea Luis? Unmute. Where's Altea? Letter? A. Okay, let's see if you're correct. Very good. A, topic, sentence. Let's go with number three. Okay, mute. Mute two again. This explains and supports the main idea. A, topic, sentence. B, supporting details. C, conclusion. Go. Okay, Joaquin Jacob, what's your answer? Unmute. Joaquin? Unmute. Supporting details. Supporting details. Let us see if you are correct. Very good. Supporting details. Okay, number four. Which part of the paragraph is this? Mammals are vertebrates. A. Topic sentence. B. Supporting details. C. Conclusion. Go. J. Junior. Unmute J. C. Letter C. Let us see if it's correct. How about the others? Can you tell me your answer? Ron Jun. Ron Jun, what's your answer, Ron Jun? C. Letter C. C. Any answer? Okay, Zion answered letter B. Let us see. The answer is B. Okay, it's a supporting detail. Okay, last one, number five. Therefore, if an animal has no backbones, they are invertebrates. This is a blank. A, topic sentence, B, supporting detail, C, conclusion. What is the answer? Can you please tell me? Absolute what's your answer? B. B? Okay, how about La Arnie? What's your answer? B. C. Letter B. C. Okay, Mary Clean, the answer is letter C. Very good. Okay, so we can you can still remember your lesson when you were still in grade three, right? So congratulations. Okay, so now before we start our new lesson, we are going to read a poem. But first, before you read, okay, please mute Mona, mute Mona. Okay, so before you read the poem, I am the first one who's going to read first. So you listen first carefully on how I'm going to read the poem. And then later, later on after I'm done reading the whole poem, you're the one who's going to read the poem. Okay, so mute first and listen to the poem that I am going to read. Ready? Thumbs up. Can I see your thumbs up? That you're ready to listen? Thumbs up, kids. Very good. Okay. So let us start. Yes. Okay, silent po muna. Smiling is smiling is infectious. Spike by spike. Smiling is smiling. Infectious. It's infectious. You catch it. You catch it like the flu. Someone, someone smiled at me today. I started, I started smiling, smiling too. too. I passed, passed around. around. I passed around the corner and someone saw my green. When he smiled, I realized I passed it onto him. I, I thought. I thought about the smile 
Then I realized it's worth a single smile, just like mine, could travel around the earth. So, so if you feel a smile beginning, don't live it undetected. Let's start an epidemic quick and get the world infected. Okay, so it's your turn now. Unmute your phone, your microphone. You're going to record. Unmute. Okay. Are ready, everybody? Get my signal. Go. My Okay. Oh, mute muna kayo ulit. Mute. I'm going to call one. You raise, um, you're going to talk to me. You type me on your screen if you want to read the next line of the poem because it's noisy, okay? So, I'm, I'm, mute again, mute. And I'm going to call one who's going to read the next part of the poem, Okay. Uh, Clarence Michiko, unmute. Can you read the next part of the poem? I passed. Clarence? Unmute, Clarence. Clarence. I passed around the corner and someone saw my green. When he smiled, I realized I passed it on Very to good. Uh, next part, Nathan. Nathan naman. Nathan? Thank you, Clarence. Where are you, Nathan? Unmute. We can't hear you. Where's Nathan? Nathan? Unmute. Uh, how about Joaquin? Can you help me, Tan? Joaquin? I thought about that smile. Then I realized it's worth a single smile. Just like mine could travel around the earth. Very good. Next part, Mary Kailin. Mary Kailin. Thank you, um, Joaquin. Mary, unmute. Where's Mary? We can't hear you. Nakamute kaya ta. We can't hear you. So So if you feel okay, medyo. Choppy. Who can help Mary Kailin? Medyo choppy yung kanyang signal. Charon. Oh, Charon. So if you feel a smile begging, don't leave it undetected. Let's start an epidemic quick and get the world infected. Very good. Okay. So let us have a comprehension check up with the poem that we read earlier. So according to the poem, what is infectious that you catch it like the flu? Who can tell me? According to the poem, what is infectious that you catch it like the flu? You can tell me the answer, anyone? Yes, Joaquin. Smile. Okay, very okay. good. A smile. Okay, very good, Joaquin. Number two. What happened when someone smiled to the speaker of the phone? 
What happened when someone smiled to the speaker of the poem? Who can tell me the answer? Raise your hand or type me at the chat box. Anybody? Again, what happened when someone smiled to the speaker of the poem? Hmm. The Arnie? Do you know the answer, the Arnie? Po. Okay, very good. He started smiling too. Very good, Lorne. Number three. Where could a single smile travel? Where could a single smile travel? Yes, Altea. Can travel around the world. Okay, very good. Could travel around the world. Wow. It's like that you memorize the poem. Very good, Altea. Number four. When you see someone smiling at you, how do you feel? Write your answer in the comment section of our Google Meet. Okay, just write your answer, everyone. When you see someone smiling at you, how do you feel? Write your answer in the comment section of our Google Meet. Okay, just write your answer. Mute yourself. Okay, so happy, said JR. Char, Carl, Zayan, happy. Persini, happy also. Okay, so everybody, just said, lovey, everyone's happy. And Ronjun is, he feels happy and a bit. Shy, so everyone's happy when you see someone smiling at you. Okay, very good. So me too, when I see that you're smiling in front of our video, I am also happy. So, okay, so we have mutual feeling. Okay, number five. During this pandemic we have today, which one you like to spread? During this pandemic we have today, which one you like to spread and why? Write your answer in our comment section of our Google Meet. Uh, during this pandemic, what's our pandemic now? It's in the COVID-19. So what do you like to spread? Is it the virus? The germs? What do you like to spread? Okay, so that's where I said. Happy, happiness, Adriana, love, very good. A smile, I can see love and peace, love, hope, wow. So why? Can you tell me why did you answer those? You can tell me why do you want to spread love or the happiness or the hope? Why did you say so that that's the one that you're going to spread with this kind of pandemic? Oh, there's also pray or prayer, help. Uh, why? Because which reason? So for me, example, I want to spread uh, just what like Nerfi said, prayer. So I, I'm praying for everyone to be safe and for those who are already sick to get well soon so that when this pandemic's gone, we can go back with our normal life. Okay, very good. So as I can see that you really understand our poem that we read earlier okay now so i'm going to show you the words that were underlined in the poem okay so there's some possibility but positivity and happiness okay now so let's go back with our lesson there are some words there that were underlined in the poem so the first one is infectious Worth, flu, undetected, green, and epidemic. Okay, so again, infectious, worth, flu, undetected, green, and epidemic. Now, can anybody tell me what are these words mean? Anyone? Anyone? Raise your hand if you know the answer of or if you know the meaning of any of this word? Anyone? Persini, do you know any word from the from the poem that you read? Okay. 
Uh, J Junior. Which of the word do you know? J COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen. Where is that? Which one? Which one? Which word is the COVID nineteen here? Infectious. Infectious. Okay. Thank you. How about Joaquin? Which word do you know? Joaquin? Joaquin? Green? What's a green? Infectious. Transmitting infectious. Very good. Infectious. Transmitting virus or infection. Okay. How about Ron June? What word do you know? Ronjun? What's your answer, Ronjun? Oh, Ronjun is asking what is flu. Okay. Okay, now. Mm. What? Flu disease. Flu is a disease. Okay. O, last one na muna tayo, ha? How about hurt? Hurt friends. Friends? How about yours? What's up the following word do you know? Worth. 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 Oh, what's a word? Worth. Mama hits value. Hmm? Value po. Value. Okay, now. So, there are some words here that you do not know. Maybe. Okay. So, we need to use a... Uh, what's this? What do we call this? Okay. We call this as the dictionary. Mute muna. Mute. Okay. So, we call this as the dictionary. Okay. So, what is a dictionary? I'm going to read it. It is made up of an entry word listed in alphabetical order. Okay. How about who can read the next definition of dictionary? Who can read it for me? Mute your microphone. Okay. La Arni. What is dictionary? Mute po muna. La Arni, I can't hear you. Ah, uh, read. Teacher, paliit-litin mo niyo po, teacher. Po? Paliit-litin mo niyo po. Each oh. name tries how a word is pronounced and what the word means. Very good. Okay. So, it says there how were the words were arranged in a dictionary? How they were arranged? They were arranged in? Anyone who can tell me the answer? Type me. Type me. Uh, Joaquin, how, are, how was the word arranged in the dictionary? Alphabetical order. Okay. So when we encounter a new word to us, it is wise to continue reading the text. You can return to unfamiliar words later. So for example, earlier when we read, if you don't know any word there or you don't understand what it means, you can continue reading the text and then later you can go back with those words and you can consult a dictionary or the online dictionary if you don't have one in your house, okay? So let us look at this page. Okay, can you see it? Hmm. There are words there. We're going to read first. What is on top of the page? Write your answer. What is on top of the page? What are those words? What are the two words that is on top of the page? Anyone? Type your meet answer on our Google search. Okay. Meet and melody. Okay. Melody. Meet and melody. Okay. So these words, these two words, what do you think we call them? The meet and melody. What are they? What do we call with these words? 
Can anybody tell me what are these words? Can you guess? What are uh, what is this meat and melody? We call them. It starts with letter G. Adriana, what is that? What do we call that? Meat and melody. What are those words on top of the page or dictionary? What do we call that? Adriana, you can type your answer if you it's know what it means. We call this as the guide, guide words. World. Okay. Guide words. Yes. Now, let us read. Wait, I'm going to use a pointer. Uh, what is this word? The first one is the red one. Can you see it? Uh, what is this word? Meat. And then, what's the next one? Mega. And then, what's the next word? Melly. Mealy. Mealy. And then, the next one is? Melody. Melody. Okay. okay. So, these words, we call them as the, these words, we call them as the, what are, what are these words? We call them as the? Words. Every words. Very good. Now, how about these squared words? The adjectives, noun, verb, adverb, what do we call them? Can anybody guess? What is adjective, noun, verb, and adverb? Joaquin, what is that? Parts of speech. Okay, very good. These are what we call the part of speech. Okay, these are some examples. Adjective, noun, verb, adverb. Okay, so we can see in this dictionary. What else can we see in the dictionary? There are guide words. There are entry words. There are part of speech. Okay. And there are also the synonyms and antonyms. So synonyms, what are our synonyms? Words that have the same meaning. And hand antonyms. What is an antonym? Anyone? What is an antonym? Who can tell me what is an antonym? Opposite. Opposite. Opposite meaning. Very good. So that is what is in the dictionary. Okay. So the guide words, the entry words, part of speech, and the synonyms and antonyms. But there are some dictionaries that don't have the synonyms and antonyms. Okay. Now, so what is a guide word? Type me if you want to read the definition of guide words. Uh, who can read it for us? Who can read it for us? What is guide words? Yes, John Crismel. What is guide words? Two guide words is printed at the top. Of each dictionary page. Very good. Oh, how about Adriana? The second one, the second definition. Help us find words on that page. After. Okay, very good. Uh, the third one, Rian. Rian? Print at the top. The left is the first word in the page. While the guide word on the right is the last word on the page. Okay, so those are guide words. The one on the right and there is also the one at the left. Okay, so the one on the left is the first word and the second, uh, the one on the right is the last word on the page. So that's why we call them guide words. Now, how about entry words? What's entry words? Can you tell me? Who can read it for us? Ethel, can you read it? Ethel. Mute muna. Ethel, paki unmute. Ethel. A praise word. A word. Okay, I can read it. A 
a word phrase or name that is the subject and a heading for an entry in a dictionary. Okay, a word phrase or name that is the subject of and heading for an entry in a dictionary. How about part of speech? What is part of speech? You can tell me. Mark Nathaniel, can you read? Mark Nathaniel. There are eight parts of speech in the English language. Noun, pronoun, word, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. Very good. So those are the what those are the part of speech. What else? Yes. Um Sharon. Sharon, what is part of speech? The part of speech indicates how the word impaction in meaning as well as grammatically grammatically within the sentence. Okay, so it indicates how words functions in meaning as well as grammatically within the sentence. Thank you. Okay, now... So let us study the words taken in the dictionary and answer the questions below. Write the letter of the correct answer. Okay, so instead of writing it, okay, you're just going to tell me the answer, huh? Because we're going to run out of time. Oh, just type me. Okay. Paint. Okay. So these are the words paint, proficiency, paint, persistent, pious, plankton. Pounds and proficiency. Now, number one. What is mute muna? What is the last entry word on this page? Who can tell me the answer? Nathan. What's your answer, Nathan? What letter? Proficiency. Okay, let us see. The answer is proficiency. Very good. Number two. What is the definition of Plankton. What is the definition of plankton? Who can tell me the answer? Althea. Meaning. Sure. Althea. Plankton uh, are the tiny bits of floating plants and animals of a body of water. So, what letter is your answer? Uh, A. Very good. Letter A. Number three. What words mean to act, approach, or attack suddenly without hesitation? What word means to act, approach, or attack suddenly without hesitation? Who can give me the answer? Who can give me the answer? Nathan. Bounce. C. Si. Letter C, very good. Number four. What part of speech is pious? What part of speech is pious? You can tell me the answer. Yes, Gisette. Gisette, what's your answer? A, adjective. Pious, the answer is letter A, very good. And number five. Father will paint the wall red. What does the word paint mean? Father will paint the wall red. What does the word paint mean? Yes, Mark Nathaniel. Mark Nathaniel, what's your answer? What letter is your answer, Mark Nathaniel? Are you there? What's your answer, Mark Nathaniel? Yes. What letter? To cover a surface with paint. That is letter B. Very good. Okay, now. So we're going to have a group activity. Okay? So what are you going to do is you are going to jumpboard Google that Okay. Jumbogoogle.com. That is what you are going to type. 
Open your Google and then type jumblegoogle.com. Okay, now I'm going to tell you first your group. Earlier, there were still some others that needs to be to be included in the group, huh? Because this one I already wrote this yesterday or last night. So group one, Clarence Laarni, Mark, Nathan, Princess Ron, Jun, Sharon, Zayan. Group two, Carl, John, Desiree, John, Joaquin, John, Paul, Justin, and Tyson. Group three, Aliyah, May, Altea, Adriana, Avery, Azil, Lavi, Adriana, Madeline. Group four, ABCD Fritz, Aaron, Antil, J, Kirk, Mary, Josette, and those that I called earlier, di ba may binanggit na rin po ako kung sino pa yung mga kasama. Doon pa rin kayo kasama, okay? Now, <laughs> sorry. So, we are going to the drum boards. So, group 1 muna ang ibibigay ko, ha? Group 1. Sana tayo? Group 1 lang muna, ha? Group 1 ang magkiklik nito sa link na ibibigay ko sa group chat. Oh, group 1 lang yan, ha? Group 1. Group 1. I-click nyo na sa group chat para mapunta kayo dyan sa Jamboard. Group 1. Click nyo muna yung nasa Google Meet natin. Group 1. Okay. Yan po ang sa group 1. Ito po ang sa group 2. Group 2. Huwag kayo mag-click sa hindi nyo group, ha? Group 3. And then, for the group 4. Ayan. O, puntahan natin yung mga group ninyo. Okay, I'm going to read first the instruction for each group. O, tingnan ko muna sa group 1, ha? <clears throat> okay, so titingnan ko nga kung meron na ang nagpupunta sa group. Okay. So, you are going to arrange the following words in alphabetical order. So, i-arrange nyo sila in alphabetical order. Kapag nandun na, nailipat na, idadrag nyo lang yan kung sa ang pwesto. Hawakan nyo lang kung kayo'y naka-laptop, pwedeng hawakan ninyo. Example ha, mag-example ako. Halimbawa, oh, number one, oh, ililipat ko siya dito. And then, yung kasunod, dito sa baba, ilipat nyo muna. Ayan, o. Oh. Nakikita ba? De, yan. Nilipat ko yung basket. Yan yung una. So, what is the next one ilagay po dito? So, may tatlo nang nandiyan. Okay. So, ayusin ninyo yan, ha? Yan ang sa group 1. Okay. <coughs> nakakasunod kaya? Group 1. Okay. So, meron na ba nakasunod? O, oh, group 2. Dami na nating chat. Teka. Okay. Para sa group 2. Okay. Sa group 2, tingnan ko nga. Sisilipin ko lang kayo kung ano na ang ginagawa nyo. Ha? Group 2, study the page of the dictionary and answer the question below. So, sa number 1, magsasagot si card. Wala. Wag, wag na kayo doon sa screen tumingin. Wag na kayo sa screen tumingin. Kung ano yung sinishare ko, yun yung inyong titignan. Ha? Okay, sige. Stop presenting ko muna ito para makita nyo yung iba. Okay, tingnan natin. Teacher, di na dahil. Po. po, ano po yun? Idadrop ko talaga yun, po. Ano po? Idadan. Ah, Hindi na po ida-download yun. I itatouch nyo lang yung screen ninyo. Meron na ako nakikita ang nakapag simula sa inyo. Okay. Ito yung sa group 2. Ito, oh, meron ditong pencil sa gilid. Ayan, no, oh, may pen. Click nyo lang yung pen. Oh, tapos, pwede nyo na yung sagutan. Isulat nyo lang yung sagot sa gilid ng number. Okay, example number one. Oh, kunyari lang ha, sagot ko sa number one, letter A. Kung mali yan, i-erase lang po natin. Teacher! O, ano po yun? Pupunta po dun sa Play Store, kailangan pa po daw i-download. 
Gano nga pag sa ano, i-download pa siya. Pwede po pa-resend po na rin kasi po nag-rejoin po ulit ako. Andito na po sa taas yung link ng chat. Okay. Ah, sa group 3. Sige, yung, yung mga kailangan i-download, i-download nyo. Kung hindi, yung iba na nakaya na dahil naka-laptop, direct na kasi yun, hindi na po. Okay. Ah, sa number 3, titignan lang natin ha. Sa number 3 na group, kung ano ang ginagawa nila. Ayan. Pero nang nag ma-match each word. Very good. Huh? Ayan, nakalagay na kung sino sa number one, sa number two, sa number three, para wag kayong mag-aagawan. Okay. Uh, next, tignan natin ang sunod sa group four. Kung ano ang ginagawa ng group four. <laughs> Opo, group three na po nakalagay hanggang group four. Okay, ayan. Uh, ang gagawin, isha-shade nyo siya. Ayan yung pen, gamitin niyo Isha-shade nyo lang. Isha-shade nyo kung ano yung sagot niyo Isha-shade nyo yung bilog. Mag-usap kayo kung sino ang magsasagot sa inyo o hindi. Okay. Shade lang, shade. Gamitin nyo tong pen, tapos ipang-shade niyo Isha-shade nyo lang. Itiman nyo para tayong nagnanap. Okay. So, sige. Balikan ko nga. Tignan ko nga yung ibang group. Group 1. Kung anong ginagawa. Na, napapagsunod-sunod na ba? Ayan. Okay. So, yung iba kung wala, tulungan nyo na lang para mapagsunod-sunod natin. Okay. Ilagay nyo nga okay na group 1 kung tapos na yan. Sinong pwedeng mag-type? Claren, sino pwede mag-type sa inyo? Ilagay nyo lang dito sa gilid. Ito tong arrow ko nakikita nyo. Ilagay nyo lang okay kung tapos na. Okay. Sige, yung mga hindi sa next time, aayusin natin siya para lahat makapag-participate. Okay, let's check. Balloon, basket, beetle, bench, bicycle, bloom, bottle, brother, bubble, and butterfly. Okay, sige nga. Tignan nga natin. Check ko nga. Balloon, basket, beetle, bench, bicycle, bloom, bottle, brother, bubble, and butterfly. Okay, so let's give you a star, group one. Very good. Okay, let's go with group two. Tingnan nga natin. With the group 2, ano na ang nangyari sa pagsasagot ninyo? Asan na? Ilagay nyo lang yung sagot nyo dito sa gilid. Sa gilid ng number. Babalikan ko kayo, ha? Dito lang sa gilid, o. Oh. Example, sagot ko sa number 1. Ano, ano na nangyari? Ba't lumi, lumaki na yan? Babalikan ko kayo, ha? Group 3. <laughs> oh, eto. Lumiit naman. Ano na nangyari dito? Lalakihan ko. oh ano na? <laughs> Ayusin mo na ha? Group 4 Tingnan natin si group 4 oh, Ito pa isa Ano na mga nangyari sa sagot ninyo? <laughs> May nakagulo Okay, oh, ako na mag-aayos Ako na mag-aayos Ayusin ko ah, Ayusin ko ha Ayusin ko Asa na? Nawala na yung kanina Asa na? Nasa na tayo? O, natabunan na. Okay, sige. Balikan ko muna ulit si group 2. Uh, number 1, what could you use when cutting a, a rose bush? We call it as a... What? What do we call that? As capital. Number 2, what is an item of clothing used to keep your warm in a winter? Desiree, what's your answer for number 2? Desiree. What is that? What is the item used to keep you warm in a winter? Scarf. Very good. Number three. Chesta is an afternoon, in an afternoon rest take in hot countries. What do we call that? What is chesta? What will you do? I will go to... If you see your mother having a chesta after she was the clothes of the... What will you do? Letter. Uh, you're going to who? your neighbor, ba? Very good. I will also take a rest or siesta in order for my mom not to be disturbed. Very good. Oh, number four. What is another name for snake? 
What is the another name for snake? Very good. Serpent. And number five, you have a vacation in the province with your family. And you see a serpent. What will you do? Number five, what will you do? Number five, Kaisen. I will ask my dad to get the serpent so I can play with it. Really? What will you do? Letter B, I will run fast and ask for my dad to be far from the snake. Very good. Group number two, let's give you also a star. Oh, uh, group three. Ano na nangyari dito? Group three. A uh, number one. Uh, next time, wag nyo itatouch yung ano ha. Talagang magkaka gulo, -gulo yan. Ah. Uh, number one. What's the answer? I uh, run. Okay, number two. Fight. Uh, wag nang galawin. Wag nang galawin. Wag nang galawin. Hindi na natin maibalik. Okay, number two. Fight. What is a fight? Altea. Uh, wag nang galawin. Oh, number two, what is fight? Huwag nang dalawin. Ayaan na lang. O, tignan natin ha, lakihan ko. Huwag nang dalawin ha. Ako na lang. Oh, Altea, what is fight? What's a fight? A, what's that? To, again, to attack. Um, to attack someone. To attack someone. Meron ba dyan yun? Fight. What's that? Where is that to attack someone? Uh, to attack adversary by blows or weapons. Okay. Oh, number three. Adriana. Race. What's a race? Very good. What's a race? A. Adriana. Huh? What's a race? A yellow elastic material. A race? What's that? Who can tell me the answer? Who can help Althea? A competition of speed. Okay. A competition of speed. Okay. Oh, hey, number four. Avery. <laughs> Avery. Grass or other Dance it for <laughs> Okay. Thank you. How about map? What's a map? Oh, nawala na. Saan na napunta? Nawala na yung ating ano. Merong nagtanggal. Saan nyo dinala? Okay, sige. Balikan na lang natin yung group 3 ha. Kung ano-ano na nangyari sa ano natin. Oh, dito tayo kay group 4. Maubos oras natin. Okay. Number one, who can tell me the answer for number one? Who can tell me the answer? Number one, what is a feature? Is there a T in the feature? What's that feature that they're talking about? Who can tell me the answer? Oh, wag nang galawin. Ah, uh, ABCD Priest, what's the answer? For number one, is it definition one or two? What is that feature? Definition one or definition two? Defeats? One. One, very good. How about ethyl with number two? What did you change clothing? Is it definition one or two? Ethyl. Ethyl. Who can help Ethel? J. Definition number. Oh, si Aaron said definition number two. Okay. Oh, number three. What definition should be used in the sentence below? The girl wore a pretty ring on her finger. Is that Defini definition one? Definition one. Very good. On oh, number four. What definition should be used in the sentence below? The tire on my bike is flat. What is that tire? Kailin, the answer is definition number one to lose energy and strength. So, very good. So, group one, two, three, and four. Okay, so let's go back with our 
presentation, stop po muna yung presenting yan, ha? Balik tayo doon sa ating PowerPoint. Okay. So, mute muna. Mute muna tayo. Mute muna. <coughs> ba tayo bumalik dyan? Okay. So, what is guide words? Again, what is guide words? Who can tell me? Type me. Before we have our evaluation, what is guide words? Who can tell me? Type me on our chat box. Nakita po ba yung screen or hindi? Uh, Adriana, what is guide words? Mukhang hindi nakikita yung screen ko. Ayusin ko muna. Hmm. What's guide words? Entry words. Ah, what is guide words? You tell me what is guide words first. Sorry. Entry ano? words. Ah, huh? guide words is entry words? Who can tell me? Mark, what is guide words? Meet and melody. No, what What do we... What is the... How uh, do you call that? Uh, what is guide words? What's the meaning of guide words? Joaquin. Speech. Hmm, guide words? Is this hard to say? Oh, those are words that is on top of the... Uh, and the upper left. Okay. At the upper left and upper right. How about entry words? What are entry words? Who can tell me what are entry words? Who can tell me? Me, Adriana. What are entry words? They are words inside the page of a dictionary. How about part of speech? What are part of speech? You can tell me. Anyone? What are parts of speech? Just give me one example of part of speech. Who can give me? Yes, Mark, Nathaniel. Adjective. Adjective. Carl said noun. What else? Laarni. Tyson said adverb, absidy fritz verb. Okay, so those are some of the example. Now, for our evaluation, okay, this is what you're going to do, huh? You are going to this web, uh, website. Ikiklik nyo lang nga, ilalagay ko na para hindi kayo mahirapan. Bitly, okay. Stop ko muna yung sharing para makilip ko siya. Okay. Ay, nawala. Type niyo muna itong, so type ko muna ito sa ating group chat. Wait. So, you're going to answer this in, uh, in the Google form. Okay. Ayan. I-click niyo yung nasa group chat. Bitly, seat work, one English. One to five lang yan. Susulat niyo yung sagot ninyo. Okay. Ay, i-click ko ha, tignan niyo. Hindi niyo kailangan ng pencil. Magsasagot kayo mismo sa phone ninyo, sa laptop or sa gadget. Ayun kasi lahat na sagutan ko na 'yan. Okay. Click niyo lang 'yan, yung bit.ly tapos kayo ay magsasagot. Okay. Titingnan ko lang kung sino yung mga nakasagot dito ha. <laughs> oh, yan, no? kasi nagsagot na si Sian. Siya yung pinagsagot ko dyan. O, kayo naman. Sige nga, sagutan nga ninyo yan. Titignan ko kung sino yung mga nakapagsagot, ha? Sige, magsagot kayo. Um, I-click nyo yung Bitly Seat Work English. Sige. Tingnan ko kung sino na yung mga nakapagsagot. Ah, ba nagsasagot sila? Ganyan po yung gagawin niyo. Para po sa mga teachers. Mute lang muna tayo, kids ha. Ah, titingnan natin kung sino na yung mga nakakapagsagot. Okay, yung sa kasi pinray ko na ito sa Kenzian, so meron na nag-type. Okay. So yung kasi 'di ba um, parents na try na nating magsagot. Sige, kung hindi kayo maka siguro baka yung iba kailangan pa ring i-download. Sige, magsagot kayo sa papel. 
para makita ninyo kung nahihirapan pa kayo dahil um, actually po, first time lang namin po itong gagawin sa kanila. So, I was impressed na medyo nakakasabay na sila kahit na wala kaming practice. So, yun. Type nyo, um, i-click nyo lang yung tinay ko, yung bit.ly seat work. Tingnan ko, ayan, nakapagsagot na si La Army. Okay. So, ayan, makikita agad yung score nung mga bata. ba diba? At least yan. O, makikita nyo na agad. So, may record na agad. So, itong evaluation, pwede na agad ninyo na recorded siya. So, tapos na magsagot si La Arnie. Okay, I'm just going to give you five minutes <coughs> to do your seat work. So, exacto tayo. Okay, so ayan. So, may nag-start na magsagot. Tapos na si La Arnie. Kung yung iba hindi kaya, pwedeng magsagot sa inyong papel. Kung nahihirapan. It's okay, kids. This is our first time. Kung hindi kaya, magsagot sa papel. Okay, so next time siguro, dahil sa cellphone yung gamit ng iba, ida-download natin yung Google Form. Google, Google Form yung i-download ninyo. So, kung ano yung lumalabas, iyon yung gamitin niyo. So, kung hindi, pwede nating uh, magsagot lang muna. Okay. So, eto. Pwede kong ipakita si in sa inyo. So, number one, ay, hindi pala siya nakashare, no? Sige, para yung iba makapag uh, habol pa na sumagot. Papakita ko na lang yung iba, ha? Para makapagsagot yung iba. <coughs> 